hello everyone welcome to this channel this is first video in the series of short answer questions so i have decided to do a series of uh, short questions which can be either logic based or can be discussion based so this is the first question which we are going to see today when a converging lens is immersed in water does its focal length increase or decrease in comparison with the value in air explain so here we are going to discuss the answer to this question in two ways one by looking at the logic and then by looking at the equation a lens which is converging so convex lens and because a lens which is let's say made up of glass has a refractive index of 1.5 approximately which is greater than refractive index of air which is 1 will bend the incoming ray of light such that the distance at which parallel rays meet is the focal length of this lens. So now the question asked is when this lens is immersed in water what happens to its focal length? So at first glance we can think that okay we are going from air to water so refractive index is increasing because mu for water is 1.33 which is of course greater than mu for air. So we will think that okay refractive index is increasing so focal length will decrease but we have to think that what is happening to the converging power of the lens as it is going from air to water. Let me draw it in air now. Sorry. Let me draw it in water now. So our first thought was okay water is greater than air hence the bending capacity should increase and the focal length should decrease. No. Why? Because we are talking about the change in the medium in which lens is placed. So earlier it was going from 1.55 medium to air which is 1. Hence the change of refractive index was a lot. But now as it is placed in water, ray of light is going from glass which is 1.5 to water which is 1.33. Hence the bending capacity will hence decrease because of this change in mu which is now 1.5 minus 1.33 relative to the earlier mu which was 1.5 minus 1. Hence it will bend at greater length. It will take longer distance to converge because its bending capacity is now reduced because now it is going from 1.5 to 1.33. Let us look at it from the point of view of equation also. Let us now not focus on this part of R1 and R2 which is the radius of curvature of side 1 and side 2 as it is not changing. What is changing is this mu. Now we can safely say that focal length is inversely proportional to 1 by mu minus 1. So if this mu is decreasing focal length will increase and why it is decreasing in this case because now we are going to look at the relative refractive index of lens with reference to the other medium so in case of first scenario which is in air mu was mu of glass divided by mu of air so mu of air being 1 it was again mu of glass only but now in second case this mu will be mu of glass divided by mu of water and that value will be low so if i take this value 1.5 whereas it will be 1.5 divided by 1.33 so for scenario 1 it is 1.5 whereas for scenario 2 it is 1.5 divided by 1.33 which comes out to be 1.12. So now if we look at 
our dependence of focal length so earlier this mu minus 1 here would be so mu minus 1 would be 0 0.5 whereas in this case mu minus 1 will reduce to 0 0.12 and you can see that because this mu minus 1 is going down hence f will increase so from this we can conclude that when a converging lens is immersed in water its focal length increases and not decreases if you have such similar doubt you can post in the comment section and that i can take up for the next video on this short question series thank you